looks like archers, lancers, and uh, regular swordsmen in the back as well. So let's go ahead and see what happens when we fight the other guys. There they are. Yes, indeed. Those red guys have been standing there long enough. We need to... Okay, it looks like they've got peasants. They actually look like uh, they've got pitchforks and not lances. Okay. They must just be the only anti-cavalry uh, units that there are. Uh, let's go ahead and have our ar archers fire. Let's see how it all works out. Let's attack their archers with ours. Nice! Good arrows coming through. Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to yet another city builder, this time Lo Polis, I believe, or La Polis, Lo, 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 Actually, Polis is, I believe, a Swedish word for police, by the way. So cops are on the way, guys. Don't worry. Good to see you all here for a game that is similar to Foundation, mixing with a little bit of kingdoms and castles. And if you'd like to play this one, which, by the way, has the ability to raise armies and also battle other towns, then make sure you stay tuned. I'll show you where to download Load it very very soon let's get into this one and we'll start first building a city then we'll check out the battle mode i don't know if the actual game yet allows us to raise those troops this is a demo for the game coming sometime soon i don't know when but uh, anyway if you guys would like to see more of this game make sure you smash that like button subscribe to the channel for more information on it coming very soon and of course thank you everybody for clicking and tap and join and becoming lovely members here on the channel let's go ahead and start ourselves a fresh new game and build of course the beautiful city of Raptoria. Do you need a brief introduction to the game? Well, yes, indeed I do. We'll go ahead and follow whatever the game tells us to do. All the roads lead to victory. Oh, yeah. The road is a basic structure that connects buildings in your city and makes transport of resources possible. Constructions can be placed only by the road. So that's very similar to kingdoms and castles where all buildings must be connected via a, a dirt road. I believe we can also do upgrades in the future, too. So let's do that. But first of all, let's correct uh, this misspelling of Raptoria here that they have in the game. There we go. Raptoria. Perfect. Fantastic. Glory to Raptoria down below in that comment section if you haven't already. So, uh, let's see. Village buildings. Oh, there we are. We see all the different types of buildings in the game. Uh, we'll apparently unlock some of these later, so it looks like there's quite a bit to choose from. So, let's go ahead and build a quote-unquote dirt road. Oh, and I see already some what looks to be maybe iron stone and wood down there of course we all know that's going to be very important when we're building ourselves a medieval city so let's do just that we'll go ahead and start with that those who give a hand to make use of resources you'll need people running transport storehouse is a building used for collecting goods from nearby production buildings you may also use uh, storehouses to expand your building zone build a storehouse all right roger that well let's go ahead and build one down here next to our resources so that way we can put them right into storage immediately in fact, let's put it right over here, so that way we're not close to buildings. Maybe we'll build houses here. City of wood and stone. You'll need wood and stone to build anything. To get wood, you need a lumberjack and a quarry to produce stone. You may have to expand your building zone to reach the resources you need. Build a lumberjack and a quarry and acquire 300 units of wood and 200 units of stone. Let's do it. All right, so then we'll need to build our road over here. And then we can actually probably just build our uh, lumberjack maybe right here. I don't think we need to go much further into the woods, actually. Let's see. Oh, that's a forester building. That'll regrow the trees, it looks like. So that's good. But a lumberjack is definitely needed. I wonder if his name is Lumber Steve, and he just takes offense to that. I don't know. Uh, let's go ahead and go with our quarry, which is this building here. Perfect fit. And look, I already see trees being felled. Excellent. Oh, and there's already people. And they've got hover boots. Yes, Raptoria has hover technology. Look at our people going back and forth transporting stuff. Beautiful. All right, well, now we need to wait a little bit of time for the people to build, or rather cut down all the trees. I don't think there's a function for that, but it gives us a little bit of time to look around. Uh, let's see. Food, wood, stone, gold, income is negative 104. Raptor, you need to get that under control. Apparently nobody's living here, by the way, but there's people working here? I don't know. They must be, I don't know, they're probably bussing in or taking the train. Who knows? This is a medieval game, YouTuber. That's true. All right, let's see what else there is. Village buildings, small town buildings, major city buildings. So as we get bigger, we'll unlock stuff, kind of like in uh, City Skylines. That's kind of cool. And it looks like there's even coastal buildings here, too. So maybe some trade or fishing that can come in via the, uh, what looks to be a very large river here. Uh, possibly uh, the ability to bring stuff in that way. Homeless people are not happy people. Houses are your basic source of income. Run out of gold and it's over. Remember, citizens living in houses have various needs. So again, very similar to kingdoms and castles that way. So let's build something called a hoot. Oh, this will be fun. In fact, it'll be a hoot. Let's see here. Uh, storehouse. Uh, hut. There we are. That's what we're looking for. I wonder if there's pizza inside that. I certainly do love myself a pizza hut. 
Okay, let's go ahead and put that uh, here. I'm going to make something glorious, so just uh, be patient, and I'm going to make this look really fancy. Empty stomach cannot be ruled. Hungry people will uh, not stay long. Without uh, food, citizens will become extremely unhappy and leave the city or even die. To be honest, guys, in all of these city builders, you know I've never, ever lost a person to starvation or ever went bankrupt, ever. You guys know that. Yep, round of applause. Oh, see? There you go. <laughs> All right, build a fishery. Store 200 units of food. Oh, that's... Uh-oh, something seems fishy about this. I don't know if I... Uh, let's see. If we need to store 200 units of food, we better maybe build one down here. And I don't know if we need to build it on specific terrain. Like, can we build it... Oh, it looks like... Can we build it anywhere? Like, if, uh, for example, we build on the coast. I don't think we can build on the rocks. But this is a pretty good spot over here. So let's build our road down to the old beach. That's right. And let's extendo Nintendo. And we'll go... Actually, let's go this way. Perfect. And let's go for fishing here, and we should be able to connect to the road. Oh, uh, this place, wait, has been, wait, what does that say? Building has to be placed on deep water. Oh, well, I don't think it gets any deeper than this, really. Um, I don't know exactly what deep water is, then. Looks like this is just regular water. Uh, we need to build a fishery, but it doesn't explain anything else than that. Well, that th I, I thought that was a good spot. Uh, we do need to build a road up here then, so let's try this. Just to experiment then, we're learning about how big the uh, fishery needs to be. Uh, is this the fishing building? No, that's not you. Goof, there it is. Uh, nothing over there either. Well, where do we build ourselves a... Do you see deep water anywhere? Apparently it needs to be deep water. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Building has to be placed on deep water. Well, I don't... Let me see here if we could actually... Maybe like this? No. Oh, that's kind of curious okay uh what is that blue thing by the way oh i think those are little trays for the fish to be uh stored in when they're uh fished out of the water hmm i don't see any deep water it looks like it gets deeper up there but i think that's just the shadowing all the water looks the same and then areas that we can't build in are a little darker well that's kind of weird i don't know exactly how to put this down let's see what other buildings we have in the meantime uh now we can't go bankrupt so i don't want to build stuff willy-nilly and, of course, the more homes I build, that means more mouths to feed. So we need to be cautious about that. At least we are bringing in building materials. So let's try to build a... What if I try to build a... Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold on. Can we build out... Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Now let's try to put a fishing... Aha! There we go. That is very strange that we would build a fishing dock. Oh, wait. Now I can build it? What? Do you see that? Look at that. Now I, now I can build it. I don't think that was there before. Okay, well, this is a demo, so it's a little glitchy. Like, see, sometimes we can't build it there, and then sometimes we can, even though it doesn't have a road. That's weird. Let's see if we can demolish this. And, uh, here, oh, oh, somebody's got an OCD alert. Oh, okay, hold on. I'll, I'll, I'll fix it. Hold on, I promise. Hold on, we're fixing it now, I promise. Okay, you good? Okay. All right, sorry. Sorry, okay. So, well, a fresh new game here. We're okay. Let's get rid of that road just so it deletes that one little intersection, and we're good. Okay. Whew, Okay. Uh, what I think we should do next is maybe we should build another fishing dock here anyway. Uh, can we put one maybe a little further away? If they overlap, it looks like uh, they might possibly, um, if they overlap, they might uh, maybe do, maybe somehow overfish each other or something like that. Cut the production or lower the efficiency. I'm not sure. Uh, let's just go ahead and bite the bullet on this one and build another one just to speed things up now. All right, that was funny. That was a good moment. It's it's like it's a video game, and I'm enjoying it. It's really it's really a strange thing, isn't it? And all these city builders. Okay, so now we're producing double the fish. That's great. Oh, apparently that's a chicken drumstick. Yes, of course. The uh, we're, we're uh, fishing buckets of chicken out of the river, which is a very common practice in medieval towns. <laughs> You'd know that if you were smart, like me, who is dumb. That's D O O M dumb. Wait, no, that's a different game coming out this summer. Oh wait, are the ro Oh, the houses are pointed this way. Oh, it looks like they also... Well, I wanted to point them this way, too. I wanted to build a nice road going down the center of town. So let's fiddle around with that a little bit. Let's get rid of these homes. Sorry, folks. I like. Oh, I love that deletion. I love how they just rumble all around like that. That is so cool. Uh-oh, triggered with the uh, things here. Okay, don't worry. We'll pretend there, there's potted plants or something in there. Don't worry. Uh-oh, OCD alert. This is where the fun begins. Citizens may demand different goods or places. Marketplaces are the centers of civilian life. They increase happiness by providing people space to meet and trade. Throughout the game, you'll be uh, they'll unlock selection of similar buildings. Build the marketplace. Oh, cool. All right, well, let's do this. I want to build a few homes. It's weird to me how the homes are not the first one. you think that would be the most basic of structures, but that's fine. Looks like it only takes a little bit of wood to make those. And we've got plenty of that. So let's build at least six homes. 
Nice. Then let's build a marketplace at the end of the street, which is right. Yeah, that is a huge building. Woo. Okay. Uh, let's actually put it over uh, here then, just behind the homes. No, let's put it up here. I like I like this idea. Let's put it up. Uh, let's see. Oh, actually, there it looks like we can build it on the corner. This really reminds me of when we build the uh, uh, the marketplace in Banished. Uh, so let's try to put it like up here. It looks like it might connect to the roadway. I'm just trying to make it look aesthetically pleasing. Just please forgive me. All right, let's actually do this. This will look good, and then this will look good. Please, please look good. Oh, oh, that looks good. Okay, that's good. Glory to Raptoria. All right, nice. Now I hope I can actually put trees in there or something for decoration, but we'll see about that. Then we can actually make the road connect down here, and it looks beautiful, like me. Excellent, wonderful. Let's build another a little tiny road there. And let's build another house. So what are we doing next? So this is, they said, where the fun begins. So I assume now we're in free build mode, so long as we unlock a certain number of people. Let's see what else there is. There's a shrine. Excellent. Glory to Raptoria. People can uh, click or tap the like button there, I guess, which is a very good thing. We should probably put, oh, look at that. It actually has an area of influence around it, so uh, it looks like it influences the homes mostly. So if we're going to build more homes, it's probably going to be over here. We could actually put this in like the smack dab in the center of a neighborhood. So let's do this. Uh, let's see. I'm really having some fun now. And I don't exactly know how homes yet affect the food supply. It looks like it says negative, um, like say, it said negative 11 gold is that? 11 gold and then also wood is the expense whenever we're building those. So let's place down two more. Actually, let's go with three. And then I want to try to put a shrine up here. Uh, maybe somewhere around this way. Uh, yeah, we'll put it at the end of the street like that. That's kind of nice. Perfect. That's the, uh, that looks like the plumb bob from The Sims. But regardless, it all looks good to me. Okay, so the homes are looking rather nice. They all kind of have a different design to them. That's kind of cool that they all somewhat look different. Th these houses, I think, look nicer. Uh, oh boy. Okay. All right, so let's see. What else can we build? We've got ourselves the tanner produces leather from skin, and it puts the, uh, lotion in the basket or else it gets the hose again as well if you didn't know that fun fact um let's also put the well uh let's see all well and good at the very end i suppose of the roadway i love how the roads just demolish they just go and they just like it's like putting paper into a shredder or something cool now we've got homes connected this way uh fish are now for sale at the marketplace i hope uh that's right across the street from the storehouse so that looks good to me um, let's also put down a, let's see, a shrine, tanner, oh, we have a hunter here, so that would be exactly where we get all those hides from, um, can we put the hunter in the exact same spot as the lumberjack, maybe I better put a forestry building down here so they build a nice big forest, though I don't know if it matters, it doesn't seem, it says perfect place, so it doesn't really give me anything to judge whether or not it'll be more effective, but let's just build it a little bit into the forest, just, just a smidge. Just to say, we hey, hey, he tried. That's that's what you can say down below in the kind. Hey, he he tried. I mean, you know, what can you expect from that guy? There we go. All right, so now we got our hunter's cabin there, so they can go into the uh, into the forest there and bring back hides. So we're making fish and we're making uh, uh, also any sort of meat, I suppose. Uh, we have a tanner here, which I believe is the family from Full House, so we need to put their house down somewhere. No, this is a medieval building in which they use lye and other things like that in order to um, make anything, really, like clothing, shoes, could be, could be anything, they're just, turn they're making it into leather, essentially, which could be sold at the market, so let's see, do we have every building down, we built roads, we have storehouses, huts, uh, Forester, I think we can build a little bit later, quarry, we have our fishing dock, of course, we just put down a well, uh, and then we got that, the tanner, and the shrine, too, so I don't know exactly what goals we need to achieve, then, to get to the next level, let's see, day 61, 132 people living here, income is plummeting, what else is new, um, I'm assuming we probably bring in more people, uh, we bring in then more, more goods, or maybe we have to sell goods to them, more people, uh, require more food and more goods, but that, of course, will equal money in the long run, so let's go ahead and put a couple of these homes down, I do like how it snaps, that's nice, uh, let's see here, just like me at a Thanksgiving dinner, just kidding. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put down a few more here and here. Oh, wait a minute. Is it blocking? Oh, it needs a road. You're right. Yes, that's right. It does need a road. And where we're going, we will not require said roads. All right, let's see if we can put down another one and another one. Yay, cool. All right, so population is getting a nice boost. We've got a little buffer between the industrial and commercial zones, which I find to be uh, just appealing, I suppose, to me. I don't know. Uh, 
I do kind of, you know what this really reminds me of is when they built long ago, uh, especially in the United States, when they were settling new lands. Um, this reminds me of like the ancient, uh, not ancient, geez, what am I saying? But the, you know, the early day colonies and such when they were uh, settling towns and building forts and stuff. It would have been a heck of a time to be alive. Looks like we need to build a, um, well, we'll probably need to build a storehouse to expand the land, as they mentioned before. But I'll just make this the end of the neighborhood here, and then we'll build some more homes up there. Plus, I don't want it all to be completely perfect grid squares. Otherwise, it kind of looks uh, grid iron. It'll look a little ugly, like me. All right, let's try. Uh, let's see, we're building quarries. We've got fish coming in. Food is good. It looks like the green is all filled. People's tolerance, depending on average happiness, income, and gold. Well, money is coming in, finally. Good job, Raptor. People are coming in too. 260 is now the current population and increasing. Looks like food is a little low. Red. Oh, yeah, it looks like that's going down. Uh, let's go ahead and build some more fisheries then. Uh, I don't. I, I don't exactly know what the issue is here. I think maybe it's because we're on the border here. I can't quite tell where the edge is. I think it's just right there, so I can't build into the water. But if I can build some more fishing docks, we better do that. Otherwise, we're going to be in some real trouble. Let's get our people some food. Uh, we can also do some more hunting cabins maybe up here, but. Uh, I don't I don't know if we can manage that. Let's let's give that a shot. I'll build a road that goes up this way. Boom. Then let's put down another uh, hunting cabin. There we go. It'd be nice if it um, maybe put a little symbol next to the structure to show me exactly what it did. So, for example, this kind of looks like it could be anything. It could be a ferry to go across the river. It could be a various number of things. So it'd be nice if there was some sort of thing to show you, hey, this makes fish, hey, this makes logs, that type of thing. But it's pretty easy to understand once you know where it is. There we go. Okay, so this, again, is uh, angry. So let's go ahead and build it down by the uh, down here. So I think what I need to do is build it by the shoreline. Cool. Now, did you guys know, by the way, that you can download this game yourself down below in the description? There's a website where a lot of developers of games like this and Foundation and Factorio and many other games are actually sending um, their games in order for you to test them and to maybe possibly donate to them as well. You can download these for free, but if you think the developer has done a good job or would like to support them, you can always give them a dollar or something like that and say, hey, good game. Here's a couple of bucks for your expenses. Keep on going. I'd like to see a full product. And then you can buy that game once it's fully released and help them to make future games. That's kind of how the whole cycle works. So check down below in the description if you want to download this one. There's a symbol here that says producer not supported by storehouse. Ah, I see. So this building might be too far away. Oh, I see. So they need to be under this area of influence, which might explain... No, I don't think it explains why we couldn't build fishing docks, but it is a good thing to consider that we'll need a storehouse somewhere nearby, which also means that we can expand up here, which means we can also do more logging. So now that we've built another storehouse, we do have an opportunity for some more fishing docks there. So let's get this food problem underway, uh, rather under control. Uh, although it seems a little hit or miss, uh, I guess I never really seem to hit the goals for whatever. I don't know, trying to make a joke there, but uh, let's see. It was was uh, Judges, was that a good joke? Okay, all right, I'm, all right. I'm, I'm seeing a no from the judges. All right, uh, let's go for another fishing dock. There we go. So we just got a lot of people, so we need a lot of food, right? We're having a big party, a big barbecue, and that's why we're having, yeah, we're having ourselves some fish tacos. I'm down with that. We're also having ourselves some, uh, having ourselves fish tacos, and we're having ourselves some, uh, I don't know, barbecue venison or something. Does that sound good? Like a venison steak? That sounds good, right? I've had venison burgers and jerky before. Those are pretty good. I don't mind that. All right, income is seemingly going up and down. I don't know exactly how to control that. It might be the expense of each building, but I would assume since they're producing fish, and since we have fish uh, that are low, that would produce a thing that people want. I don't know. Uh, let's connect all the roads together. I really want something in terms of decorations now, but I do want to get to a small town ASAP. I think I just want to keep on making more food, so let's make another hunting uh, lodge here. So there's one this way. Let's see if we can make another one up here. Uh, I don't want to make the road through there, though. But let's try to sneak it in here. I don't know if we can overfish or overhunt, but these are medieval ages, so I guess we don't need to worry about those types of problems. Uh, let's see here. There we go. Oof, I felt that. Yeah, me too. Uh, let's see. I don't know if I can build another one here. Uh, maybe we could build another one this way. Fire is spreading. We've got something on fire, it says. Oh, all right. Uh, let's see, what does this do? Produces water maintained by workers from any connected storehouse. Well, what does that mean exactly? Is this like uh, in, um, oh boy, I, ho I hope this is like in 
the kingdoms and castles where they can put that stuff out. They're giving me problems that I don't have uh, items to solution right now. We got fires. I don't have a firefighter team. I don't see anybody rushing to the wells. And, oh boy, this is not going to end well for us. Oh, actually, we can click on the buildings and see their needs. Oh, water. Ah, okay. So we do need water at each, although it doesn't show me a, a circle of influence. So let's go ahead and put a... Uh, oh, oh, boy, there goes that house. Oh, boy. Okay, well, that's... that's Oh, boy. I hope they had homeowners. Uh, let's build a small road there until we get all this sorted out. Okay. So let's see what each house requires then to bring in money. So they want leather... They want a mar access to a marketplace. They have, uh, apparently they have, uh, they want access to a church, which they do have. And they also want water. So I guess it might be a good idea to build wa um, wells somewhere nearby. So let's build one there. And uh, I don't I don't know exactly what the, how, how large the water is. Let's see. Apparently these guys don't have water either. Apparently it's also maintained by people from a storehouse. Produces water maintained by workers from any connected storehouse. So if somebody needs water, it's delivered from those workers? Okay, that's strange. Well, we have two fires, apparently. I don't see anything else on fire. Oh, there was a fire over here. I think that was actually put out somehow. That's good. We do need to build a forester now, because that is starting to be cut down a little bit. That's not good, so let's make a road over this way. Uh-oh, do you hear that? <laughs> oh, no, ninja just kicked me in the back of the head. Ooh, sorry. Okay. Perfect place right there for a forester. Good. We need that for both logs and leather and uh, meat production, too. Uh, let's see here. Actually, it looks like the hunter only produces skins, so no to food. It's only uh, Food is only generated by the fishing docks. Mm, I've learned that now. Let's take a look, actually, at storage. Oh, wait a minute. They store water there, too, and water is later distributed to the town? Hmm. Let's go ahead and put that next to each storehouse then. So now we're learning things. Again, this is my first time playing too, uh, but it is probably not a bad idea to have a well inside the town. It seems like people, well, it's a good spot to put it. So now we know we should just delete that, right? Let's get rid of that. Delete this, smiley face. There we go. Oh, cool. We just upgraded. Awesome. Yay. Oh, there's fireworks. Sweet. Oh, that is cool. And some of the houses are upgrading as well. Beautiful. Looks like some of these guys have everything that they need. That is great. Congratulations, your citizens are now living in your town. Oh, good. So now we've got upgraded from, like, serfs to uh, to citizens. Beautiful. So let's take a look at the small town buildings. Yeah, more buildings are upgrading. Glory to Raptoria, baby. All right, so now we've got ourselves uh, stone roads. We've got a storehouse level two, a medical tent, taverns, farms, a windmill, a bakery, access to a sheep farm, weavers, winery, Decorative trees, oh, thank goodness, and also a fountain. Fantastic. All right, uh, let's see here. We've got a few problems to solve, though, before we get any further in that. I think what I want to do is immediately start uh, producing farms, and so that way we can solve our farming problem, uh, or rather food problem. However, it's very, 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 very low, so I want to make sure we can get some more food for that. Uh, we have 284 people living here. We have one, two, three, four, five fishing docks right now. Um, I wonder if we can put some more in town. That might be a... Uh, would that be a little fishy? I don't know. Let's see. We'll put one there. Maybe here as well. Okay, let's go with these two here. So we'll put one down there and here. These are still really awkward for me to put down sometimes, I guess. Like, look, did you see that? It, wanted, it, it allowed me to put it in the water for a split second. Look at that. And eh, those are just kind of weird, aren't they? Oh, there we go. Let's put one there. That's nice. Okay, cool. All right, so we're trying to solve the uh, food problem immediately with all the fishing. Fishing is going to be good. Now let's go on to our Tier 2 buildings. I do like how some of the houses uh, automatically upgraded. That's really nice. So I'm assuming Storehouse 2 also uh, is a able to store more items. Let's take a look here. Expands your city and collects goods from production buildings. And it has... Oh! Also serves as a fire station and has nine employees. Oh! So with the upgrade, this also... Uh, serves to protect everyone from fire. So that's really good. Okay, uh, let's continue to solve the food problem. I think those additional uh, fishing docks will help us out, but we need to get cracking right away on some other food supplies. So let's go for, uh, let's build a store. Well, I, I should actually build a storehouse in the town, but since you don't need to do that, uh, meaning, oh boy. Well, since you don't need to really build a uh, storage building, let's actually build one right here. 
pr provide us with some sort of fire protection. We don't necessarily need to, to build one of those with the area that we're in, but let's try to build some farming over here. Let's build ourselves a quote-unquote farmer. There we go. And that'll allow us to start making wheat, which then can be brought over to the windmill. So let's go ahead and put our windmill uh, somewhere nice over here. That'll look good. Although I don't want it to transfer too far. It seems like we have problems still kind of with the... Uh, with uh, things being uh, transported and whatnot. So let's just kind of keep it simple for now. And then let's also add ourselves a bakery. Now the flour, of course, makes toast. No, I'm just kidding. The, uh, it's actually wheat goes to the mill and is turned into flour, right? And then the flour is then brought to the bakery where bread uh, is made from the combination of turning flour into dough, sometimes with yeast, most cases with yeast. And then uh, the bread is then brought to market for sale. So that should help our food problem. So we're completely out of food. This is the first time in Raptoria history. We've, we've never seen something like this occur. How outrageous, how egregious, how will I manage? We'll manage just fine. It'll be okay. We're, lear we're losing a heck of a lot of money, but uh, what's the next thing? Major city buildings. I want to definitely see what those have to offer next. That is going to be cool. Again, if you're liking this game so far, let me know by clicking and tapping that like button and let me know you'd like to see more. Ah, yes, the fishing docks down here don't have access to a storehouse, so I will need to build another one of those. I'm wondering if the storehouses can deliver some items to people's houses and some items can be delivered uh, via the market. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure how that works yet. However, if I build our storehouse here, this will allow me to build on the coast, won't it? Yes. All right, so hopefully this allows uh, some of these workers to work at the fishing docks there. Food is starting to come up. Excellent. We're pulling up out of that nosedive. Now, as the game did say, if we run out of money, it's game over. So I don't know exactly what we can sell to the people for higher money, or more money, I should say. Uh, so I assume wine is going to be an expensive thing they want. The weaver, which will cl uh, create clothing. So clothes and wine are probably the delightful things that they really want. Apparently the bakery makes chicken. That's one hell of a bakery. I will, I will be hanging out and visiting that one for, for safety purposes, you know, to, to inspect and to ensure things are going okay. I think we also need to build a lumberjack up here, too. Oh, it looks like the forestry building is doing a good job of bringing back all that wood. Seems to uh, have slowed down the, the cutting of the trees. That's good. Let's build ourselves another forestry building. So it seems like basic economy is very important. You don't really want to expand your city until you really must. It's like sometimes when you first play uh, City Skylines for the first time, you kind of want to slow it down a little bit. You want to simmer down and make sure everything's good before you really jump it up and start providing services that you just simply can't afford. Looks like we're also out of materials here too, which requires, the forester requires 13, so we should be able to build that building now. Uh, or does it require money? Oh, we're out of money. There we go. All right, that, that would do it then. Let's take a look and see exactly. Is there a way to find out how much cash we can make? Let's see here. Uh, food and wood and stone. Income. It doesn't really show me where my, what businesses might not be bringing in a lot of money. It looks like all the fishing docks are working. Food is coming up. That is great to see. I like how the color changes too, by the way. You can see here stone, we have 500, so not really a concern. Wood is like kind of this orange color, and then food is still red, even though it's just sharply increased. Looks like we might actually be pulling out of the hole eventually with income. Seems to be coming back up. And bread, I wonder if that's actually being delivered. Uh, it is making food. Yes, there's 25 stored product out of 45 maximum. That's beautiful. Oh, hell. Oh, boy. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Somebody apparently went crazy and then downgraded their home. <laughs> I think they were actually mad because the house next to them was on fire, so it must have lowered their happiness. No, it's a disease. There you go. Yeah, they went to... So disease and fire are definitely things. We need to build a medic, too. So, uh, but of course we're out of cash. So the question is, how do we go about making the most amount of money then after basic resources are taken care of? Folks, I want to come on back and do a full playthrough on this game. I think this is good for a first initial run to really make Raptoria great. So let's go ahead and call this one episode one. I, I want to do a full playthrough on this one. I'm getting some great foundation vibes, but also some great kingdoms and castles vibes. And I want to build myself a military. Yeah, indeed. We can actually go over to the military mode briefly and take a look here. I, I just want to jump over there real quick to do this one. Let's go to the battle demo and see exactly what's in store for us. So we can raise these troops. We have cavalry, looks like archers, lancers, and uh, regular swordsmen in the back as well. So let's go ahead and see what happens when we fight the other guys. There they are. Yes, indeed. Those red guys have been standing there long enough. We need to move. Okay, looks like they've got peasants. They actually look like uh, they've got pitchforks and not lances. Okay, 
they must just be the only anti-cavalry uh, units that there are. Uh, let's go ahead and have our ar archers fire. Let's see how it all works out. Let's attack their archers with ours. Nice! Good arrows coming through. Hopefully we can beat these guys. Looks like they've got some uh, cavalry breaking through, but our cavalry are flanking. They're going to cut down a little bit of us, but not before our archers cut through some of their cavalry on the front line. Looks like they're getting gobbled. Oh, yeah. They're getting gobbled up right now. A couple are breaking through. Not too hard for us to break up. Looks like that guy was actually running at us with a hatchet. Let's take a look at the map, too, by the way. So I'm wondering in this game if towns will attack your town and actually do damage. This is something I have yet to experiment with. Yay, we won! So I'm wondering if this actually kind of seems to be like the map we were just playing on. But I'm curious to know if we could build a huge town here. And then if we get attacked, can we send out our troops to the outlying areas of the town and then maybe fall back inside? Can we build walls? Are there towers? I don't know. But I definitely want to see. All right, guys. Well, if you haven't already, make sure you click or tap that like button. I'm coming back for episode two where we're going to see a better city built. We're going to get up to those top tier buildings. And I'm going to show you more of this wonderful game. You have yourself a fantastic evening, good afternoon, good night. And remember, for the love of Raptoria, please use your blinker. I'll see you all next time. Take care. Have a great day. And I'll see you soon. Thank you, everybody.